you guys came out with a whole different energy tonight. Um, what was the difference between tonight and the you know, previous two games? Um, the coach is really focused on our starts. I feel like um, our first initial home games, we came out with a lot of energy. We started the season off playing with a lot of energy and we took a couple steps back. So we kind of uh, made it one of our focuses to jump on them. We also knew that they were up, I think, 60 to 31 on all their first quarter starts. So um, we knew that they were going to come in with a lot of intensity. So we just wanted to try and uh, match that or beat it, the intensity, and I think we did that. Six of six of three. Do you remember the last time you were perfect shooting that many? No, I don't. I don't. Probably back in high school, like my freshman year maybe. I don't know if I've ever done that. But I mean, I've been shooting the ball really well all summer, um, coming in practice, so about time to find out what you think. You're driving to the hole a lot more this year. You're also getting hit a lot more. Uh, what are you doing to save your body or you talk to Isaiah Thomas on what to do? Uh, I don't know. It kind of just comes to the territory. I don't really feel any bumps or bruises from it. I played football a lot growing up, so I'm kind of used to banging around. I was at my mom and all the people around. I was like a little daredevil kid jumping off of things, so it doesn't really affect me too much. There's this sequence in, near the end of the first half there where you get the three and you had the steal and then the other mm -hmm. steal. Three-pointer seemed like it bounced about 10 feet in the air before right. it went through. Uh, you were kind of been part of something like that when that second three-pointer, you left your hands and it, it bounced up high. You know, that, was the first. that was the first. I, I thought it was going over, and then I saw Matisse put his hands up, and then I was like, oh, it might go in, and then it went in. So that was the first time that's ever happened to me. When's the last time you heard a crowd like that, just in terms of their, kind of a liftoff moment? My redshirt year when Tone dunked on the dude at Arizona. That was probably the last time I heard it loud like that, but uh, that was a great crowd. Is that, particularly uh, in the first half, was that you guys at your best? Um, I don't know, because I want to put a, a limit on what we can do, but I think that's what our standard is supposed to be. When we talk us through basketball and practice, um, and we do drills, that's what we're supposed to do. So I think that's just our standard. Anything above that, we can do better. I think um, the main thing was in the first half, they had one offensive rebound. We took a step back in the second half. But um, yeah, that's our standard. Which, which part? The, the offensive execution or the way you guys were? Every force and turnovers on defense. Force and turnovers, creating havoc on the ball, um, everybody being up in the lane, um, boxing out, which we were doing, I think, a great job in the first half. Um, just everything. And we, don't, we didn't really run that much offense. We were always in the flow of transition just because of our defense. So we usually like to get the tempo going and let our defense create our offense, which we did tonight. Obviously, uh Winning is priority one, but that that's an entertaining brand of basketball you guys play. The full court pressing, you guys are, you know, above the rim. Do you take pride in in giving the crowd a show at yeah, all? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and it's just an honor to think, um, especially having Will on the coaching staff. He used to be a part of that. He, he was a generation of like the first to do that, and uh, to come back and uh, bring it back is an uh, honor for all of us. First to do what? To just so come back, picking up full court okay. in the lanes, creating turnovers, and just being aggressive, picking up the tempo. The point that I heard you could tell you kind of had that lower match defensively. Um, no, because I don't think we were really focusing on on them, so to say. We were just focusing on what we needed to do, and I felt like um, when everybody's locked in, we're picking up. We're so tuned in. Romar talks about just building a machine, building a machine. When you build a machine, you don't really have time to worry about what the other people are doing. You're just focused on your unit. I think that's what we were doing tonight. Did uh, did it, you happen to see? I, I think it might be your second or third or three quarter. You launched it, and even before he was sort of halfway in, I think it was Murray who just sort of turned the other way and just put his hands in the air as if he sort of knew that shot was going in. Well, like I said, I've been shooting the ball really well in practice and over the summer, so um, something that they've seen a lot, um, just have confidence in me to put the ball in the hole. And uh, I think uh, once anybody makes two in a row, everyone's probably just going to do the same thing, turn around if they shoot the next one, no matter if they miss or make it. But um, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. I would imagine when you have a team this young that they're learning so much from the first time they played up, up until now. It's only been a month, but they've taken a lot in. What what have you noticed about the young guys, the difference between them now versus maybe when the season started? Um, the learning curve. Each game, we started to get progressively better just on offense and defense. I think today was the first game, I should so to say, against a quality team that we put everything together. So um, that was a big step for us. And also, um, I mean, we had, what, 19 turnovers. 
I think uh, we haven't taken a step in that, but now guys are starting to notice it and starting